It's the Scourge build. It's Floods of Rage, Gift of Pain, Monstrous Shrine, and Pain Resonance. I thought the Scourge build would be far better than it seems to have been. Where I think Hag will really shine on the Scourge of build is in her unhook denial. Hag, I think as much as any killer, can get trades on hook by getting a hook, popping a trap down, teleporting back, and then just swapping. And on Scourge hooks, that is incredibly important. So we're hoping that that helps us a great deal. But so often, that is what does us a disservice. Not a single trap on a single hook. So let's, 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 let's change up our mindset. Let's be all about the early game traps. Chris Pen, uh, not too shabby of a first map. I don't mind this. What should be nice about this is that I imagine we'll have pretty good coverage uh, to teleport to our traps from all over. With our two range add-ons, our teleportation range add-ons. I think we can basically get everywhere here. Good injury there. Jen's moving a fair bit. I think we try and commit to this chase as much as we can. Now, you never want to be too embroiled in chases like this. I think with that pallet burn, maybe now we head back. A trap here will be good. Keep on setting those traps. If I scrub through the VOD, I want it to be a mess. A mess of me looking down, looking back up, because I'm setting so many traps all over the place. Here we go. So we'll get some value here. Should get an injury out of this. I don't believe there's a pallet immediately nearby. It's a good spin. I'm pretty proud that we kept with them. They're taking us to this gen that we do want to kick at some point. I don't think we could teleport there. I think I want to kick this gen. We might even, yes! Catch them unawares. They did not expect us to come through the pallet there. Maybe just didn't drop the pallet in time. Now, a scourge truck has to happen. And we can get to this one. Remember to trap it to the absolute nines. And we begin to love life. Oh, and that gen's so scary. Trap him. And trap on this side. Right. This could be golden. And this is regressing. Anyone here? Anyone nearby? Not like I can see around there. Good injury. It was a quick, it was a quick unhook. They sort of caught me unawares there. But if we take an inside line, we might be in the money with regards to this hook over here. There goes a gen. Do you divide immediately? You do. Ooh, it's not a very safe one. I feel happy to chase around here. You're gonna go over. It's live. Not the most efficient line. They will get another pallet with it, though. Okay. That's a shame. I think now we kick and teleport over. We can. Around this way. Okay. So someone, I think Nancy. Yeah, Nancy was in Killer Shack. Get another injury here. Could be a great chase. Could be a great chase if we play our cards right against Leon. Around here? Oh, I see. Okay. Another trap down here. Make this a nightmare. Nice. And that's what you need to do as Hag. You can deny loops outright with good trap placement. And we have the hook behind this. Okay. Not an abysmal start, this. One that we can be happy with. Again, traps. Traps, traps, traps. Send it away. Okay. So we know Nancy, healed up, was around Killer Shack. You have to imagine this gen will be moving. It is. That gen over there is quite scary, or at least was quite scary. We've been hit with a couple. A couple of uh, pain resonances. Sure, around here. Another trap down here could be worth a lot to us. I'm ready for when they do go for that unhook over there. I think that might be our actual game plan. So there we go. They're crouching around. Wow, what a gamer. Okay, well played. Well played. They, they counted that quite nicely, but we were thankfully in the vicinity, able to break apart the heel. And here's your chase. Can I teleport over here? They've done well to take us away. I instinctively teleported, and maybe I shouldn't have done, because this becomes a bit of a worse chase for us. Can we get another injury here? Countering the spin nicely. No surprises there at that gem popping. We were, I think, overdue that one gem pop that gem popping. No pallets around here. This one's been burnt. You've just realised that. Move back around. Okay, we're doing well here. Any possession hits going through? Take it immediately. Take the hit immediately. Everyone injured is a really good state of affairs. We might now be in a tricky spot. 
You go over the pallet. I think you figured this out. Yeah. I was a dead hard. Great dead hard. That's a crying shame. We did everything right there, except for waiting out that dead hard. Um, okay. Oh, they're right there. Whole party here. As always, going after the person who isn't injured. At least we're keeping the game stalled, because they're trying to get themselves healed. I think a trap here could be good. So they keep on running. They do. And a pallet here. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. There's continual sandbagging of some of these healing spots, which is serving us nicely. What isn't serving us nicely is that there's so many pallets around. We are breaking them. God, we were close to getting that hit on the, on the Leon there. We really, really need a hook. Gone too long without one. Need to be putting traps down as well. Oh, they waited too long that time. We were... Po they gave away... Oh, is there someone waiting for head on? No, that's not brilliant. They gave away the notion that they would be a little bit too willing to wait out the pallet. What is annoying is we can't go for the basement. We've not got enough time. So we can't get a scourge truck. That's okay. Check out this gen. It is not regressing. Someone repairing it. There they are. This could be a great one too. This could be a basement hook, which is so important. You have to hard. We've got to just swing and hope you don't. <sighs> Didn't even have the distance. Hesitation. Way too much hesitation. Is that a dead heart play? Right, they will activate that trap. We're not concerned. This is a basement hook, and this could be very important. Obviously, gonna line this up with hag traps. We're chasing someone. I'm not entirely sure when and, and where. So if you want to get this basement unhook without setting off a trap, you need to crawl all the way down. This is great. This is very good indeed. Okay, this gen stalled nicely. Can we cultivate anything like a three gen around killer shack is what I'm thinking now. You've got these two and maybe... Uh, maybe this one in the building. It's not ideal. That's what we might have to go for. Hey Diego, welcome in. The spreadsheet continues, yes. New and improved spreadsheet. Hey, here's your chase. A great chase to take this as well. So now let's get the unhook. What a play! Do not activate any of these traps. The injury. Do you have full on BT? You'll need it. You do. Okay. Or off the record, of course. Well, here's your follow-up chase. They've navigated basement unhooks really nicely. A good counter team for this hag. Dead hard. There it was. Down you go. Now, can you get to the basement here? I, I, I think, I hope, and pray the answer is yes. Because the rewards are just so, so enormous if we make it. Yeah, no pressure. We will. Beautiful. And again, a slow and laborious crawl down to the basement really helps us. So if they want to navigate these traps like that, they are more than welcome to do so. Okay, good stuff. It's going very nicely. Check on this gen again. No, that's not their gen. That is not their gen. We'll head back over here. They're probably moving upstairs, gen. There we go. Good injury. It'll be a trade. Exactly what we've been waiting for. Trades on Scourge Hooks. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, get a grab. Very nice indeed. More traps, more traps, more traps. Just an absolute melange of traps around the space. But one here as well. I think we've settled upon our game plan. Did I hear injuries, or was that just the... Is that just the basement hook? I think it might just be in the basement. Alright, we want to keep an eye. Hang on, hang on. Someone up here. I think we'll take on this chase. You're trying to heal up. And we won't allow it. Suffer, get Leon. Good injury. 
Oh, we've kicked in this door, which is so important. We've got one eye on the basement, too. The moment someone goes down, we teleport. There's probably someone crouching down as we speak. A trap here could be really good for us. Do you go left? You do! Skirtrick right here as well. Is that the person giving up in basement? It might be. Might be resigned to their fate. No pallet here. There will be a window. Do they get it? No, oh, faking it out. Gorgeous. Let me get another Skirtrick. One gen left. Oh, let it go. Let it go. Come on, get the hook. Oh, they're doing well here. They know that we're picking up, so we can't teleport immediately. What we can do is teleport now. You have BT. You have BT. We shouldn't have hit you. We should have hit Nancy. That's okay. We had the aura, so we keep on them. Leon gone. Nancy might be on death hook here. Certainly been on hook once before. Lots of pallets burn, which is helping us a great deal. Is this one still up? There's not one here. Dead hearts. There it is. We've used this Skurjuk. We might be beyond the point where Skurjuks are a necessity, though. I think we are uh, benefiting greatly from the work done previously, so we'll just make this a normal hook. Again, it could be a kill. Let's see. It is a kill. Two, so, do you know what? First game of the stream, and we're already saying two survivor protocol. That's glorious. That is absolutely glorious. Well, keep on these gens. That's not the one. Whoop. They're upstairs? I mean, very loud injuries. There they are. Okay, this kicks. And here's the chase. We're searching for our chase. Here it is. Do you have pants landing? Your window? Oh, you did. I thought you faked it out. Was that quick and quiet or was that a slow vault? Because the fact that I didn't hear the noise meant that I backed off. If they did a uh, quick and quiet, if they did a slow vault, that's an incredible play. We will still get the down here. Um, no point making it a basement hook. We have a, a good Skurjuk over here. I think this is a kill. I think Meg's only been on the hook once. We'll soon find out. Will be a kill. Okay. Well, at least a 3k secured. That's great. A much-needed boost to the rankings overall and also to the Scourge build. A good start for Hag here. We'll try and search for that hatch. We're very slow. So I'm not convinced that we will be fighting it here. They were working that chance. They would have been around there, pivoting elsewhere. The longer this goes on, the less likely we are to find the hatch. But that's okay. We set out our stool early. We said we're not going to slug for the 4k. But we also won't give it away. Down here. Oh, there it is. Do they have it? They don't. Okay. Game still very much on. Adrenaline there for the Meg. What we do is we hope they're not on that gate. Trap this one. And head over here. The issue is you can very easily crawl through that. And it's a horrible gate spot. Look at this. Look how distant these two gates are. Wow, they're already out. No time wasted there. Okay. <laughs> It's three kills. It's a double pip. That's brilliant. I am deliriously happy with that start. And we called it. We want to teleport back to hooks, make the most of these Skurjucks, and that's what we did. GG.